Welcome to another edition of Break It To Make It. Our competitors will be given a random object to bust open a hard to break thing. With cash on the line, who will come out on top? We're about to find out. My talent is the super high school level ultimate breaker. Welcome to Break It To Make It. Let's have a good time. My name is Leslie. I'm looking for a small breakable item. I don't know, call me romantic. Ah, keep flipping. <laughs> I'm aboard to work today. Just a couple of tricks I wanted to show off. What are we breaking, huh? Our first object is the icky yicky brain ball. Right in the jewels. The little brains in a ball. Creepy, but I love it. I would like everything inside of it to stay right where it is. Let's really tenderize those brains. Two, let's go two. Your anatomy lesson continues with the world's largest gummy skull. To break or not to break, that is the question. 17. A wooden ruler. Public school funding is just really bad right now, huh? 11. The Karnofsky Jigsaw Puzzle. So weak, I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Oh, God. Six. A brain candle. I need a snack, quick. Mm. That's better. I feel better. There he is. Let's see some breaks. Much better. Let's go for a corner. Leslie taking a measured approach. I wonder if I can kind of poppity pop. This is more difficult than I anticipated. Oh, Lord. Oh. oh, thanks. Just trying to help you protect those little thingies. You don't need them. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> I made a huge mistake. Oh no, never mind. Brains. Ugh. I honestly don't know if the money was worth it. Then I'll keep it. Oh. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. A break, but at what cost? About $25. <laughs> Moving on to round two. Ah, the sour tennis ball gumball. This one's a freebie, right? Absolutely not. No? Oh well. It really does look like a pretty realistic teeny tiny tennis ball. I don't think when I smash this that I'm going to enjoy the texture. It was the oatmeal. This is why you eat your Wheaties, kids. Number one. A world's smallest Care Bear. This really makes me mad. At Bella Reed. What did Bella Reed pick for me? That's a fan suggestion from at Bella Reed who chose a pipe cleaner. Message received, Bella. If you want to give us a tool to break, send us an email at breaks at bat19.com. Got a new one, don't worry. 12. You eat my candy, you get a cotton swab. Are you serious? Lucky number seven. A single sheet of copy paper. Is this a treasure map to an item? Nope, single piece of paper. So we're just making jokes. Let's break! I'm gonna create a little holster. We're gonna get a crisp fold on this. What am I supposed to do here? I can't even keep it on the table! <laughs> You're supposed to break! Look at a little tennis ball head. <laughs> Can I pull a Kyle? You know, I just try to fucking get a smush. Fault! Sorry. <laughs> I think Bella knew that I could do this. Guys, it's working! Let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Q-tip break, baby! You want a table break? I don't know what the rules are on that anymore. Too much table, not enough paper. That's a fault. It's a little smushed. I think anytime I break the table, it should count. Uh, no. With our players acing the sour tennis ball gumball test, it's time to move on to round three. What's next? It's the giant gummy bear on a stick. This is a tasty episode, y'all. I'm sure Jamie won't notice a little bite. I'm right here, Daly. Number eight. The giant wine glass. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks this time. Where's the wine, though? Three? <laughs> Giant rock candy sticks. Oh. 19. A giant ring pop. Are you sensing a theme here? 13. A troll doll. What happened to the theme, guys? Does he have to like eat all of it? Because his stomach's pretty small. Time to break. Oh, <laughs> brutal. I don't know if this is gonna go, how how this is gonna go. Can I? Ow! Toots! Yeah, it's sharp. God. We give you a little helping hand. Right to the face. This isn't going the way I hoped it would. Sloan wishing the rock candy was more rock and less candy. Ah! 
I'm just choking him out, little guy. Yeah, that's not gonna... Okay. It's like an art piece now. You see it at the sculpture park. Elegant. Uh, oh, that is brutal. Good job, buddy. High five. Still tastes good. Mm. A lot of hair, though. We're gonna just right through the heart. Oh, God. What are we calling this? A break. In a physical and emotional capacity, I only hurt myself. Not the break I was looking for, but I'll take it. On to round four. The Fender Amp Lunchbox. Big fan of this. I love guitar. I love lunch. Oh, Jamie remembered to pack my lunch for me today. Let's try 14. Okay, folks, let's do 14. Steven's guitar okay. stand. This is also Steven's cane. I'm being a bad friend by breaking it right now. Four. A keytar cutout. It's also made of cardboard. Number nine. A cassette tape. 20. An age that maybe I am? A giant chalk bomb. Oh, it's got a hole. Oh, good. Three, two, one, break. Thank you, good night, Memphis. That's pretty easy to dent. I'm gonna plug the hole with my thumb. Ugh. Encore, you see? I guess Leslie's playing the blues. Madness. We gotta be smart about this. This thing owes me money. That tape is full of hits. Is this how Kyle feels like all the time? Oh my God, it's working. This never ends. How much music is in this cassette? Take that Fender reverb. I went to college, you know. And that was my album. Thank you for listening. Two stars. On to the big money bonus round. Our contestants will break ceramic sculptures my kids made while they watch. Addie, come on in here and sit down next to Dad. These are really big. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Some yard sale artwork. Uh, yeah, it's a break. Yard sale? What? You made those. Yeah. Oh, that's on. Oh no. Jamie, your kids made this? They sure did. Why are you giving it to me to break? I'm teaching them that all art is inherently temporary. Also, she called me a poopy head this morning. So? Genuinely makes my heart hurt, the idea of intentionally breaking such a precious thing. But money is also very precious. Crazy what people do for money these days. Your dad's gonna pay me to break your childhood toy, so that says more about him than it does me. We have plenty more priceless memories at home. No, we don't. 16. It's a toy train. Okay, let's add more cuts to the old fingers. 15. It's a yo-yo and one of the cool ones from the 90s. Dad, weren't you born like the 1900s? Shh. Oh, it's a 10. The Man of Steel versus the Butterfly of Ceramic. This Superman is particularly angry. Please just look, please don't. Got half of a five? No, not Rainbow Dash. <clears throat> Some kind of horse toy thing. Real horsepower for this one. Let's see some childhood breaks. I feel like an executioner. My childhood dad. Sweetheart, be a man. No, thank you. Just a shame. Cue the sad music and the train noise. Whoa! The yo-yo's breaking! What? I think I checked it, but she's still okay. Oh! Oh, and the nostalgia goes scattering everywhere. Dad. Goodbye. What? <laughs> what is this made of? Nothing is stronger than a child's love. Oh, never mind. Jamie said he'll buy you your first car. That was the deal he made with me for the episode. YouTube videos are not legally binding. Oh my God. What? I didn't break it, but I'm not even mad about it. I'm kind of just impressed. Sorry, kids. Your dad is mean to me, so maybe this is on him. How'd you like it if I broke your stuff, Dad? Aren't you late for class? It's summer. Oh, okay. Where's the head? Leslie saves the day with the decapitation. There we go. Huh? I got it. I put it together. And that's the game. Be sure to check out all of our cool products at vat19.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This wasn't fun, Dad. That night.
Team.com.